to my channel, Drug Crafts with Paige. I am Paige, and this week I am back to drinking my regular old ciders. <laughs> now there's a trend that I have been seeing on Pinterest and on TikTok, and maybe it's not trending anymore, maybe it's not very popular. I'm not super great with what's going on, what's trending, what's the 411, what's the hot goss. I don't know, I think I'm getting old. And it is called canvas embroidering and we're just going to be taking some pre-stretched canvases and some images. I have three of them so this might end up being a big project for me but we're going to be embroidering those images onto these canvases. So if you would like to see how they turn out please continue watching. These are the three canvases we're going to be using and I just wanted to paint some like geometric designs in the background before we do the embroidery part. So I have some painter's tape laid out in different shapes and because my room is like a light Tiffany bluish color, we are going to be using different shades of blue. So we're just going to paint these sections and we're going to speed through that. Our three canvases are dry and now we are going to begin the actual embroidery part. Now I have three different images that I want to put on these canvases. These images do not belong to me and therefore I am not selling these pieces. These are not my images. Uh, they are something that I found on Pinterest and something that I thought would be really nice in my bedroom. A nice reminder for myself that women are curvy. I am curvy. <laughs> and these are supposed to be body positive images showing rolls and curves and just things that I am trying to love about myself. So I have three images and when I printed these out when I was trying to figure out what size to make them I measured out the inside of the canvas. You don't want to make it all the way to the edge because you've got wood here and therefore cannot embroider through the wood. So I'm going to tape these in place so they don't move when we continue the embroidery part. Now that all my pictures have been taped down flat, I am going to use just a regular old safety pin and I'm going to poke holes where I want the lines to go. So I'm just going to simply follow all of these lines, the lines that I want to embroider, and I'm going to be poking holes just like a couple millimeters apart from each other because we're eventually going to backstitch into them and create the actual embroidery. Because these are on canvases, poking the holes preemptively is just going to make it a lot easier when we go to actually start threading these. Now when you take these pictures off, you're going to end up with a bunch of crazy looking holes. Hopefully if you stayed close enough together, you should still kind of see your image. But I'm still going to keep this piece of paper, the actual line art, close at hand. So as I am stitching these, I have a reference picture to look at. I am going to be using what is called, or what they have labeled as friendship thread. This is the same kind of thread that we used when we made our different string art. So I also have different shades of blue for each of these canvases and I'm going to string up a pretty decent sized needle. A needle that's too small is not going to fit this thread and it's just going to be hard to handle. So we're going to use a pretty big sized one and we're going to start with our threading part. Now that I've got the string on a needle, which is probably going to be the longest part of this project, uh, actually probably not, um, 
I'm gonna start embroidering these. This is, this is gonna take a long time. I have three canvases to try to work through and I'm gonna be back stitching the entire pattern. I'm not gonna explain a lot. We have all of our holes punched in and you're basically just gonna be back stitching along the areas that you've already punched in. Our embroidery is finished and I was right to assume that this project was gonna take a long time. Embroidering three canvases took forever, but I was able to just kind of throw Netflix on in the background and casually embroider and it was super chill. So that was really nice. And I was a little worried that the actual images were gonna get lost within the embroidery and it was just gonna look like a bunch of weird lines and stitches but these turned out so cool. I am so excited to be able to show you how they turned out. So we have three different canvases, each with a different shade of blue, each with a different geometric pattern, and each has a different color of string. So here's our first one. I think she's my favorite. And then here's our second one. And here's number three. And I will still make sure to give you guys some nice up close shots out in natural light. Just so excited to be able to put these up in my bedroom just some nice body positive images that I get to look at on a regular basis and will serve as a nice reminder for myself and hopefully it'll be a nice reminder for you guys as well that your bikini body is just your body in a bikini so love yourselves <laughs> thank you all so much for watching my video I hope you enjoyed this week's craft and if you did feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel I have a bunch of links in the description box below for my Facebook page, my Instagram, and my PayPal account if you would like to donate to the channel, as well as a whole list of all of the materials we used if you would like to try to make this craft on your own. See you guys all for the next video. Cheers!